Hello there and welcome to the replay. Thank you so much for watching the replay. And if you're here live, hello. Oh no, my mouse is not working or something. I don't know what's going on here. No, it's my touch screen stuff. I don't know. Anyway, you can tell like a hot tidy professional cheerleader, future best like novelist, current expert programmer. I'm sitting just the edge of the cave and it's kind of dark right now on purpose because I'm here to show you how to do some new things. Let me, let me turn on my uh, web browser over here because I, I'm going to be covering up just the edge of the cave. Stuff and it's kind of dark right now. Let's for mute that. Yep. All right. Anyway, so first thing is, <coughs> gosh, excuse me. We're going to look at the checklist over here to see you know, stuff for new broadcasters. I've got a check, handy dandy checklist available for you at webliminalmessages.com. You can go to bit.ly slash higher underscore EV to get to it too. It's the very first product on that page. So the first thing you're going to need is a smartphone. So you can do Periscope and Facebook. You download Periscope and Facebook from the App Store or Google Play, depending on what you have. Next is lighting. Let's go back to me over here. No lights behind, although there's light behind me and there's really nothing I can do about it because my cats have torn down my little screen there. But I have this handy dandy little light, circle light from Archon Mounts and it has three settings. You've got a white, you've got the white and the gold, and you got a soft gold and you can even uh, make it not so bright with a little dial right here at the top so you can make it go down so I just clip it to my laptop here you can put it on your phone it has this cool little clip because it'll go on your phone see just like that now I'm sitting at my desk so I could do OBS stuff for you good folks so you want to make sure your lighting is good enough so where you don't have weird shadows you know you don't want to have weird shadows on you so Sit there and practice in front of your phone so that you can see. Let me see. Let me put my glasses on so you can see my eyes. I apologize for the last night's makeup that may still be on. Ha <laughs> ha. You don't want you know shadows under your eyes. You don't want shadows up on your face. You don't want to seem like you're you know at a campfire, make telling scary stories. You know, just make sure your lighting's good. Just all you got, just take a few minutes and, and make sure it looks good in your camera. So let's go back to our checklist here. What is next? See, there's no lights behind, no lights directly above, no lights directly below. You want to be in a bright room if you can, because that way if you're in a bright room, there, will, there won't be any shadows because you'll have light all the way around. I mean, you can even, once you start scoping a whole lot, you can even get you, uh, you know, a good cool little light kit with, with those white umbrellas and things like that that you see on, on, the, t on the TV shows. Uh, it says get a ring light. And that's what I just showed you guys was the ring light. And you, you don't have to get it from Archon. You can get it from Archon.com. If you get it from Archon, you can get a 20% discount with the uh, code Perigirls. But you can get, you know, get them from pretty much anywhere. I, I know some people have gotten them from Amazon. All right. So framing. Framing is important. I don't think people realize how important it is. I mean, you can, you can frame it how you want. You really can. And people will watch you regardless if you're fun to watch. I, you know, I, I understand that. But if you're wanting to have a more professional looking broadcast, you know, like if you're on the news or whatever, you want to have your face in the top third of the screen. You don't want to, let me move my camera. You don't want to have that going on. Because what are you looking at right now? You're looking at my white ceiling, right? You know, you're not really looking at me, you're looking at my white ceiling. But if, let's move that back down. If I got it like that, you're paying more attention to me. Because my face, my mouth is more in the middle of the screen than it is at the bottom. I mean, I've even recently seen a scope where the woman's face was, I mean, was down in the black. That's, that's where her face was, and she was completely covered by the comments. And that's one of the reasons why you want to be up here, too, is because once you start getting a following, you're going to have a lot of good engagement, and you'll have people talking to you, and the, and the comments will cover your face up. So you want to keep that in mind. Also, if you're you know broadcasting a landscape, God forbid if you're 
the only person there because then you got you know blank space to either side of you you know same kind of thing you know to each their own I know some people who are really good broadcasters who are doing that I don't know why they're doing that but there's a lot of blank space to the right and left of them and they look kind of lost in their broadcast um, so test it with your phone's camera just do that now keep in mind if you're using an iPad or an iPad mini the light the, the camera puts you in a different position than it seems and you're gonna have to do some testing with somebody somebody else to help you so if you're doing that you can give me a DM me and see see what we can figure out uh, let's see let's go back to the checklist portrait versus landscape I just touched on that I always use portrait if it's just you see the empty space from above <laughs> I forgot to even put that on there you don't want that on the side of you either landscape is you is for you and one or more other people and that's bad grammar I apologize or if you're showing an actual landscape like you know a sunset a sunrise a mountain range a field you know that's what landscape is for or if you're you know in OBS like I'm doing and you're showing you need to be showing stuff to the side that's when you're going to be using landscape but for the most part if it's just you use the vertical because you don't want all that blank space you want people looking at you not the blank space that's around you let's go back to the checklist let's see you have three things to talk about Have three things you will be talking about already written down. Once you go live, immediately begin your broadcast. Don't sit there and, hello, Rod, thank you for coming. Don't sit there and uh, wait for people to join your broadcast before you start talking because a lot of the things, thank you for retweeting. A lot of the, uh, you're going to have replay viewers, and if you don't catch them right at the beginning, if you're just sitting there just, they're going to leave and go to the next broadcast and you've lost them pretty much forever. So immediately start talking when you hit that red button. Introduce yourself. Tell people what you broadcast about. Have a little a little bitty elevator pitch, but not too much. You don't want to have people waiting, you know, three minutes for you to get the pitch out. You can go, go, you can tell that at the end in the, in the credits section, you know. Like, like my introduction is Evie Tidy, like a hot tidy, professional cheerleader, future best-selling novelist, current expert, programmer. I sit on just the edge of the cave. See that short and sweet? And if people want to know what I'm talking about, they can ask me. During the broadcast, part of the engagement piece. So, and now that that's, takes us to the next piece, the engagement. Let's, let's, uh, make this just a little bit bigger so you can kind of see see right there engagement welcome people when they come in at first let's make it let's go back to smaller so it throws the screen better anyway welcome people when they come in but once you get started on your content don't interrupt your broadcast to, to say hello now it depends on what you're you know if you're just sitting there chatting say hello to your heart's content but if you're actually presenting material like let's say you're I don't know, showing people how to, what cryptocurrency is about. And they're sitting there taking notes with their notebook, and then they are um, really engrossed in it. All of a sudden, you all, oh, hey, Aunt Grandma, how you doing? How's the cats? You know, whatever. You don't do that in the middle of your content. You can say hello or whatever, but don't don't carry on a whole conversation in the middle. Don't break it up like that. That's just, that's just rude. Rude. Like I said, and let's see, ask people to share you out. So do that, share this out. If you like what you're watching, share this out. Put it on Twitter. I've only got one viewer right now, and that kind of blows, but whatever. Um, thank people for giving you hearts if you're in Periscope. You know, you'll see hearts come up the side. Thank you for, thank them. And if they give you super hearts, especially thank them for that. But don't interrupt, you know, the whole conversation too much. Just kind of like an afterthought. Uh, read the comments out loud before you answer their questions and the reason why you do that is because some people are just listening they may be at work they may be god forbid in the car whatever reason and they just have you running in the background so if somebody asks you a question or they make a statement that you're going to respond to read the statement first and sometimes you may want to repurpose 
your scopes for blogs or YouTube or whatever, and the chat won't be there, you, that you need that needs to, that information needs to be available to the people who are going to be watching it after your replay. Let's see. Look into the camera as much as possible. Like here, I'm looking down. I'm looking down at the scrolly thing, and you can't see my eyes, but I'm looking at the camera now. And it's just a little bit more personal if you're looking at the camera. I know you're used to looking at yourself on the screen, but try to look at your camera as much as possible. Uh, trolls. Oh my gosh, trolls. Trolls are people who just say things to get the shock value. They're trying to get the attention on themselves. They really don't want to see, well, they probably do. They probably do want to see you naked, but they don't expect to see you naked on the screen, you know, or they want to get a rise out of you and it interrupts your, your broadcast. So my advice is, unless it's like a chat scope and this is something that you're known for, just bless and block, you know, just act like they hadn't said anything, touch their name, their, their comment and block them. It should bring up the choice to do that on your screen. Uh, let's see, closing. Uh, now, actually, if you're going to have a long scope, you recap. You, you talk about, you say, okay, for those of you just joining, I'm talking about how to fix, I don't know, a toilet I, uh, clapper. And we've gone over the metal part and the rubber part so far and we're about to do the turning off the water. I don't know. I really, I don't know. That's just the top of my head. But that's, you do a recap every, about every 10 minutes or so. And at the end, on your close, you do another recap and a short synopsis of what you did. So maybe if somebody came in at the end of your live broadcast, they'll uh, want to uh, turn it back on and watch the replay. So and uh, your bio. Let me show you my bio. If let's see, if I can get to it. Let's uh, let me find here. Uh, da, 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 da. There we go. There's my bio. I'm your tech helper. You can find me at webluminalmessages.com. You can get your free broadca new broadcaster checklist, which is what we've been going over at bit.ly wm underscore new checklist. And you'll be signing up for my mailing list there. And I am web EV everywhere. Now that last thing I keep editing and they make me think that it's working and it's not, but that's my pop culture page and it's got four letters missing. I need to edit that out. So let me do that because it keeps messing up. So there we go. I've edited it out. You want to break up your bio a little bit. You don't want to have everything running together. Put some, you know, hearts in there or exclamation points or whatever. You want to have a, some, some emojis in there to break it up. And you see I've got a little pipe up here where at the webliminalmessages.com. So, and also, <laughs> In your bio, you want to have your name right there. You want to have your handle, but in your bio, don't repeat your name or your handle because they can see it right there under your picture. Additionally, even if you're a business, I highly suggest putting a picture picture up there so people can know who you are. They can put a face to the name. It, 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 it won't kill you to put a regular picture up there and it makes you people trust you a little bit more if they can see a person instead of a logo. So, and let me give you, just for those who really haven't started at all, this is a picture. That's what your first broadcasting screen looks like. And there's Robert going live for his morning stuff. He's walking to uh, his public transportation in New York, I guess. He's really sweet. So this is your first screen and you'll put your title in. This is a title. And you wanna put a couple of hashtags in there that's relevant to your broadcast. Like if you look at mine, I've got Perry Girls and Thunder Crew in there because I'm a member of both of those groups. And I've got teaching there because I'm teaching you how to do a new broadcast. And the uh, Love and the Thor Ragnarok are parts 
So if you tap the screen while you're watching the replay, you'll see a rainbow heart come up and a hammer. I'm going to put that in all my titles. So don't, but don't put, you know, a billion in there. Don't put, you know, too many emojis either. I mean, just you want you want it to look professional unless you don't want it to look professional. See, that's the thing. And you, okay, you see that little glowing thing? That's a lo the location. So if you leave the location on, people can drill down to the map to see exactly where you are. So if you're broadcasting from home, I suggest you take that off. This next one, this is an iPhone, guys, but the Android is similar. This next one turns the chat off to only people that you follow can chat with you. So unless you know, you're having a lot of problems with trolls or something like that. I don't even know why. You leave it off so it's light gray. You want everybody to be able to chat. Hopefully you've signed up for Periscope with Twitter so that when you go on, it'll tweet out. So people following you on Twitter can come into your broadcast if you like. And then there, and then you have a, a thing where you can share to, to Facebook. And for some reason, mine keeps logging out, so I don't really bother with it. And the last one shows where I can accept super hearts from people and normally down at the where it says connection to poor there will be a go live red button so once you're ready to go you press that button when the screen first comes up it points away from you so you can show your world and you could double tap it and it'll face you so that's up to you whether or not where you want to start at and at the end you want to end with a, let's go back here. At the end, the um, thumbnail that's going to be in your list, let me go back. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Sorry. Thanks for bearing with me. Here's my broadcast. And that top one is, is the live. But you see as, as you go down, you can see my thumbnails. I, you can pretty much every one of them has some sort of thumbnail unless they're hidden so you can tell what the broadcast is about kind of just by looking at it without you know it, it helps you can so you can use that list as kind of like advertisement for that scope or for your company so for the last couple of seconds you're going to want to uh, show it on you can use OBS to do what I did and have it as the last thing you can use your camera to just show it on an image on your computer or you can just have it on yourself let's go back to here and and you can just smile with with something with you and hold it for a couple of seconds before you sorry about that before you uh, sign off so that your last thumb so that your thumbnail doesn't look all weird you know so try to hold a pose for at least two or three seconds before you turn off your broadcast and that's all I got for you guys for the new broadcaster tips or periscope tips for newbies I know it's kind of long and I apologize for that but I tried to be thorough for you if you have any questions you can, you can, you're welcome to DM me on Twitter. I'm, like I said, on my bio, I am Web Evie everywhere. And with that, I am going to let you go. Have a great day. And remember, be kind to each other.